Congratulations on the podcast. How's it going for you? It's going great. I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy doing a podcast because it's not really my thing, but I'm actually enjoying it so much. I feel like it's given me my power back, and I just feel empowered doing it, so it's been great. You kind of felt compelled to do it, I would imagine, right? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Did it feel cathartic to, like, get everything your everything that you've been through out from your perspective absolutely yeah it, it feels like there's a healing aspect of it just like sharing what I've learned about myself through this journey and this experience and hopefully helping other people who have been through abusive relationships toxic friend groups that can relate to what I'm talking about I was gonna ask I mean obviously the public felt a certain way about you at some point, uh, probably well, last summer. I, have you had people in your DMs or in your emails or whatever who've heard your podcast and said, oh, no, I, I understand from your perspective now? Yes, I have gotten a lot of DMs, um, people apologizing for kind of like bashing me and saying like, I now listening to your podcast, I've learned more about the situation and I was too quick to judge and I just want to send you some love and encouragement. So that's been really nice. Aside from your podcast, what do you do to take care of your mental health? So I've been diving right into hot yoga and I do hot yoga like twice a week. I'm doing Pilates, hiking just staying really active so that my mind doesn't go spinning and I'm not like scrolling on Instagram or anything and then creating a good community I am almost a year sober I'll be a year sober on Wednesday so it's a huge accomplishment and um, yeah I'm just really proud of how far I've come how do you avoid scrolling on Instagram scrolling through the internet when at least now like your past friend group, the past show, is like airing and so much of it kind of comes up as news. Yeah, so I've unfollowed all of the Bravo sites except for a select few that are a little bit more biased towards my side because I like to, you know, like at least know that my voice is being heard. And on the Explore page, it's like all Bravo, but I like to keep it, um, the people that I follow, just kind of like a good like mental positive affirmations so that when I leave Instagram, I'm like, okay, I feel good. Yeah. So as you're on this journey of healing, if somebody were to approach you and ask you to do another reality show, would you do it or would you say like, no, that, that I did not have a good experience, I would not do that? Not if it is anything like Vanderpump Rules. I think there's a way we could create ethical reality TV. And I think if we keep working towards that and seeing what that might look like, maybe in the future I will. Yeah. So uh, who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? You're like right next to Green Day. I don't know if you're... I, I'm so excited to see Green Day. This is like such a throwback. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice talking with you. Me Thank too. you so much.